We should be back. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, how's Discord doing? Sorry about that. Apparently my computer was unplugged and no one told me. So we're back, supposedly. Twitch is telling me we're live, though the stream is frozen. Though that's not frozen, it might just be because I'm on pause. It looks like good on Streamlabs. Let's see how it goes on actual stream. Ah, we're good. Okay, good. At least it doesn't affect the download time on the PS4. I find that I've, I've been paying attention to this. Oh yeah, that's right, I keep wasting my time. I find that I have these vocal, vocal and physical ticks. So, uh, I started like, with this people who have ticks. I'm like, wow, why do I have all these ticks? Like, what's going on? Yeah. Like, I don't want to, like, it's funny because, like, you know how when sometimes you hear someone and they speak about, like, they have a diagnosis of this is, like, the condition. So, in this case, Tourette's would be the one that I've heard of. And, um. <laughs> you hear people, like, tell, tell how their condition is and some of the symptoms, and they never give you the whole list of how they were diagnosed. But you hear, like, some symptoms and you're like, wow. That's funny because I do certain things like that. Like, you know, whenever someone talks about it. OCD or whatever, you're like, yeah, I do certain things like that too. Yeah. I can walk here. This is better not just gonna be something that's gonna fall in my face again. Nope, but, uh, these guys are dropping. That's a big shot. Uh. Those of you who still want to be watching the stream at this point, you're gonna have to refresh your count of viewers for the stream live is counting zero viewers. Did I? I saw seven on stream. Nobody else gets buffs. Sorry, guys. Abilities. We got four AP to use as we see fit. Okay, now we can finally move to the next section. We'll check our progress on the download. Seventy percent. We're coming on quick. Thank you, Yana. That's for the. Uh, she's just uh, mentioned the. Uh, what's it called? The Discord server. I'm pretty sure everyone in the chat currently is on, in the Discord server already, but if you're not, there's the link. Alright, let's go. Huh. got the what? For what? Oh yeah, I just got paid, didn't I? Yes. No, I forgot I got paid. <laughs> I don't, I don't trust you enough to heal me, so let me heal myself. Okay. Right, this is the fight that triggered when we got to the I'm Don't heal anybody else, Donald. Oh, your full health heals. Don't worry about it. Donald's just a second too late because he doesn't have access to shortcuts, I guess. What's up, Father? Come on. 15? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. compared to this morning. <laughs> Prize and waking up at 5 a.m.
<laughs> Help me by me. I'm tired of trying to climb this thing. It's annoying. Oh well, yeah, I have an increase. I have an XP increase. Thing, but I don't know if you saw that. Okay, I said, I said, Jesus, I need the XP. Oh, definitely. I mean, to be honest, the final boss here is kind of still on like, uh, proud, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. Standard. I think that maybe. Uh, Sixties, like the, the the average of people like up there. Since we tend to run away from certain fights, stop zapping me. Well, I'm kind of annoyed too, but like at the same time, I'm not. I'm just I'm trying to kill time. I don't want to get to the end too fast because if I do, then I won't be able to save. The entirety of the final section of the game. Four bosses in a row. It's just how it be. Okay. Surprise! Oh, I think I recognize this. Nope. I wonder where that else hands some fellow with. Wow, what a logic. I love Don Donald just absolutely yeah. brainiac mode. I feel like um I feel like Goofy's the kind of guy to go, people die when they were killed, but also like pop out like a nugget of like super smart wisdom. Like it's okay if you fall apart because tacos fall apart and we still love them. Yeah, <laughs> it does sound like a good feeling, doesn't it? <laughs> Bologna sandwiches don't fall apart. What is he talking about? I'm removing his wisdom card. Like, I don't what kind of bologna sandwich are you people making? I mean, his was like a seven foot tall bologna. It's taller than me, Max. Look! Here we go. Donald, show me the staff. I'm taking it away. You could just basically skip most of this part by just jumping down, but there's a bunch of crispy treasure chests. I think. Maybe. Must be some Dalmatians down here. Also, um, yeah, that's what we I think this is supposed to be the world of Fantasia. Why not tacos break apart? <laughs> What's our percentage on it? 82! So close! Giant crevasse. Nice. Where was shiny bits there's a reason why I feel like this is Fantasia. Fantasia just has this really weird abstract. Section. 
Um, I think this is supposed to be kind of like the same thing they do. The game, something is too high. Press the jump button. Ah, yes. Loading screen tips at their final. Why am I in Travers Town? Good question. Just to my understanding, it should not be present here since the keyholes are safe. Uh, well, like, even then, if. Unless the heartless got to the. Uh, unless the heartless got to the keyholes. Sense. But I, I think that this is supposed to be like an homage, not an homage. It's the same concept as like you fight in the man games. Because hey, this is what you've done, look how far you've come. So there's an area in this place where you can just farm, like, rare materials in the form of auric alchemy. Wait, can you ignore these? Huh, I thought you could. Oh, you had to play no. This is interesting, because you don't actually fight any of They didn't pick the Travers Town start. I think I generally actually get tired of these fights. I do, but like at some point, I'm like, I'm doing it. Like, even I at this point get tired. Like, I don't know. Well, in this case, it's like they're squishing. If it was like the Hollow Bastion Shield Knights, I'd be annoyed incredibly rapidly. They do give you like rare drops here, I think. This has got to be. Um, plus, there's a safe. Ah, I had to save them. At least there's only I'm not I don't want to finish that sentence. It's dangerous. If I finish that sentence, I'm gonna I'm gonna be mad. Oh is he? Oh yes, we did get told that there's a new tournament. Did you guess what it's called? <laughs> yeah. That is it. Yeah. He came in, posted that over the other you know, the rankings. There are 50 rounds to that dungeon. For that I should have done that. That's the best. It's not too grinding, it gives you a decent amount of speed, and you need to do it to unlock two of your bosses. Big fat tacos. Oh look! We're hiding a shoe. Come on. Uh, it's like that. I remember saying, you know, the chest are in the same spot. Heal! Uh, yeah, but they were there, not behind them. One of them was 
Oh, they were both in the pool. Because I kept arguing that they were both in the pool. That's how I did it. Give me all that tech XP out here. They told me I could beat this game by spamming the XP. One of my cynical friends who doesn't like any video games probably. Come on. Nope. Good job. Finally you get a sliding dash. Come on. Please. I didn't get the treasure chest, did I? No, I got it. Because I was far I think I'm supposed to be this Yeah, well, there's not really anywhere to go except, like... <gasps> nut. 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 Eh... And... Yeah, there's one right before. Camera at the same point is in the room or just at the top of that. Oh, and it's the worst one. No, stop dolphin diving, bro. So let me out. This Let me see. There it is. It's the deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, the green. There's never a fight on the way to lose. Well, <laughs> yep. It's the one I ironically am searching for. Okay! Take two! Guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Oh, my back's not happy. We will be extending the stream tonight to 2 p 2 in the a.m. Because I want to play Endwalker. You're free, darling. You can go to sleep now. I love you. S-E-X-I-V... Okay, we're back. The game's loading up. We've updated. It's copied. I mean... <sighs> Feels good. Feels nice. I get to lean back, enjoy this excellent game until I crash, go to work rather relatively late tomorrow, have a cushy clothes shift, clothes shift? Our province is closed on Sundays, so I get to chillax. Man, I'm gonna enjoy this. Finally. Finally. Good night, darling. Look at this beautiful stuff. It's got, it's got sun, it's got moon, it's got earth, it's got a ninja. I'm in Kagane. Finally get to click on the next story quest. It's so exciting. Thank you, Yana, for plugging tips. I'm so confused. Liam resubscribed, but they're not telling me Liam resubscribed on Streamlabs. Bizarre. Ah, oh, yes, the cues. Watch trailer? Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. The cues are actually acceptable today, so. Let's watch trailer. Now I need to take one of my ears off. I haven't done a stream with an, a, a headset on my head in a while. I haven't needed to. Come on, game. Oh, we're gonna turn the sound up. Uh. 
I just want to play this game, man. I just want to play. So, to my understanding, I have not actually seen the uh, Endwalker trailer. I saw the release trailer or the whatever other trailer they did, but not the official trailer they put in the game. I thought it was the same as the previous one they did. Wow, this loading screen is forever. I am reminded of how good my PS5 is. Okay, so we're actually going to have to log out again. Stop, 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 stop. So it's not exit. Log out. Everybody buckle in, get your popcorn, we're watching the trailer. Love to see it. That's like Phoenix or something. Very nice. Ready? Join you in VC once you have your new comp. I oh, you guys are sweet. You trying to save my computer? That's the same song. Though. Okay, no, it looks very similar. I've seen this trailer. I'm pretty sure. Oh, what an outfit! Right, that's our character. Technically speaking. Not a fan of the boots, though. Funny thing about the new computer, by the way, um, apparently we've got a better graphic card than we did. Oh yeah, everything is going to crap. My girl. Is that thing supposed to be a void scent? I feel like it's a void scent. They were void side in was it Hollow Valley or Sista? You don't need a tail. Nice. Ah yeah. He's gone back to his tanking ways. Who could that be? We already know. <laughs> oh, this trailer is getting me all hyped again. This is fake news because actually Alphano is a sage and apparently they're bad at just healing. I think that Derplander's actual favorite class. Okay, there's one. My boy. Oh. Oh. Aesthetic. We love him. You know, this thing has become much more likable ever since he's been pro dragon. The hour is come, creature. It's all or nothing. So hot. Oh my god, this song! I need the name of the track. That looks like the inside of uh the tree from Final Fantasy IX. Because every time I see that, I get that. That, 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 that pod. These guys are really just here to actually literally watch the world burn. Mad lads. I'm sorry I'm speaking over dialogue. I've heard it before. <laughs> Look at this dude! You took your time. Tis as we feared. The respite afforded this land was but fleeting. Yeah, Yurianjay likes to have the really asymmetrical aesthetic, which we respect here at Lotus Fire Headquarters. Old Charlotte. Charlotte. That's a pretty statue. Look at these nerds. The whole world's burning and they're just chilling, pretending it's not happening. It's a nice speaker. My heart is beating so fast. Oh my god. I knew it. Huh? Yes. Yeah. My boy. I don't want this. Oh yeah, he's. Oh, that's a higher on higher? Heck yeah. Sweet little play. Oh no. 
And you guys have been saying it starts off fast, like it must. Do as you must then. But we scions will fight until the heavens fall, until our last breath. Okay, I'm I Yestola's face in the cutscenes looks absolutely fantastic. Look at this turd. He's like, oh, I had to fight you with this katana. This game was made to, for me to, like, they decided when they created fights against Xenos that when Pyrus plays five years down the line, he's gonna have to use the same class. They did not know me, but they decided that. I didn't know it was gonna happen, but they decided that. Look at that. Oh. Like, I don't mean to simp, but Ustola's, the way that Ustola just confidently hips away is absolutely What a sword. If I didn't hate the way Gladiator played, I'd actually kind of try to play that one. Oh, what a freaking fantastic. Fantastic. The cinema. It's weird to say cinematography for a game trailer, but the cinematography in these trailers is always so good. Art direction is the word I should be going for, actually. Am I supposed to say Final Fantasy XIV Online Endwalker or Endwalker Final Fantasy XIV Online? Because it's written Endwalker first, but generally we don't say that. Oh man, the Q increased. Cinematography in game has improved too. Oh my god! I hope my PlayStation 4 can handle it. I hope my PC can handle it. Here we go, we're gonna put on our Reaper clothes. I have a Glam on. So I don't look edgy, I don't think. Well, we're gonna fix that. Well, oh, actually, I think I actually have the, um, I take that back. I might actually have the level 80 gear soon. Bit of the Crypt Lurker stuff. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I've been waiting for this stream all week, by the way. Like, from the moment, from two weeks ago when I knew that I was going to be finishing Mega Man soon. Oh, jeez. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our reaper. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, no, I do have the... There we go. There she goes. Demon Slicer, right, because I had the level 80 thing because I did the quests. Epic. And here we go, next ship to sail, start in Mordona. Mordona? What are you doing, man? Okay. Let's go. Nobody pay attention to how much items I have in my inventory. Someone pointed out that the Scion Traveler gear was pretty rad looking if you if you died it and I forgot to die it. So I just have the basic green stuff, which is kind of tra tragic, but the Crypt Lurker outfit looks pretty good. I like the face mask a lot. It speaks to me on, a, on an emotional level. Okay. And I have no quests active, which is fine. Um, I'm supposed to go... I would assume one would have to go inside... Yeah. Rising Stones. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Alpha No, start me off, baby boy. Oh, hey! It immediately gives us clothes. Selena, do you have some time to talk? So excited for you to play. I'm so I, I would like to gather everyone in Dawn's Respit and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. Let's go! Give me the recap. Let's take stock of the facts, shall we? The crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of ominous towers in a multitude of locations throughout the world. We have since learned that said structures were brought into being by an organization known as the, as the Telephoro. The Faroe's stated purpose is to recreate the final phase of Eon's past, an apocalyptic event that will result in the destruction of all we hold dear. 
Already have these towers of theirs been the cause of untold suffering. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, their faith perverted for primal summonings. And unless we find a way to deal with the corrupted aura surrounding the spires, we can't even get close to rescue anyone. Close enough to rescue anyone. Those shielded with the blessings of light seem able to resist being tempered, at least. After what happened to Iron Ball and Fordola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. But while these threats close to home are of paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Golem Hall. As you know, the Telephoroi are under the leadership of Fan Daniel and one other delightful fellow, <laughs> Zenos Yegalus, Crown Prince and our dear friend. Our dear friend! Don't even feed into that lie, my friend. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varus, and plunged Golem Hall into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the War of Succession. That has just changed in troubling ways. Wah, 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 wah. Aye, during our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons or the cries of discord. It was an eerie fog of silence which did blanket that ruined city. The inhabitants appeared to have been tempered, and with nary a word spoken did they labor to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. Yeah, we do remember that. See, this is all things we've all seen, they're just recapping, so it's a good memory refresher. If they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events too were orchestrated by the Telephoroi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear it is only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat and quickly before our allies are overwhelmed. Can't wait to fight another primal. We will find a way, shall I? I'm sure of it. Master Fush knows comments regarding the final days were curious to say the least. The forum knows more than it is letting out. Yeah. Alphino and LSA's dad had to come in and just be a complete dingus. Sorry to interrupt. We've just received word from Mistress Kyle. She says that arrangements for your visit have been finalized. Epic. You're to head to Lives in and board the next ship bound for Shaolin. On arrival, prevent yourself, present yourselves as associates of the students of Bantis. Come to assist with the Order's restoration. Whoa, Estinian's here? He told. The arrangements may be settled. What are your thoughts? They must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. I can only do like two voices. I'm eager to see it, of course. Of course. <clears throat> we should set off at once. <laughs> Grahatio does the same thing we do. Oh, everyone does that. Then I'll accompany you to the docks. You'll need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. Uh, Tataru knows what her role is, and I'm very happy about it. I'm really digging those pants, not gonna lie. Not like there's just enough belts. Epic. What a great start. When do I fight something? I'm kidding. Actually, can I teleport? I'm trying to get rid of the limbs. Ooh, I can't wait to hit level 51. 80, 81. Your destination is currently. Congested. That's a first. Even last, like, I was able to go. Um, there's an event in Limbs, isn't there? Of course, there's an event in Limbs. Uh. Okay, let's see here. Let's try that again. Real day one experience, beautiful. <laughs> Living the dream, day one of X-Pack experience. Your destination is congested. It's true, I did. Okay, 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 okay. 
so glad. I'm actually quite happy that I did not have to wait. The copying mimic, the queuing in. Ah, it's destiny. Yeah, but the difference is I could actually play something else on the same console. Oh yeah, I have this fancy, like, Reaper ability that shrouds me with my attacks to turn red. Okay. Uh, oh no, blue quest that I haven't taken. Oh, it's never mind. Although I might end up taking that one. Load in, please. I need to talk to Yuri on the... No, to Taro. Taro? Oh wait, minion of the day, first of all. All right, what you got? Everyone's here, which is good because I've already paid for your passage and the fee is non-refundable. Ship for Charlene should be pulling into port soon, so please follow me and have all your luggage close at hand. So we're starting in Charlene. Gotcha. I guess that's the one time that we do it. Pretty town. It just looks like different Limsa. Or is it still Limsa? This might still be Limsa. It is still Limsa. almost Limsa, finished loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule. Or so I'm told. Oh my god, he said schedule. Excellent. Tis nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey. What? Least. You don't like dying at the beginning of your journey? It's funny. That's a big ship, really. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. Yeah, that's epic. That's not foreshadowing at all. Now, Don't say things years like that. Later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Okay, thank you. You decided to wax poetic all of a sudden? It is upon reflection that every twist okay, of Yuri Andre, we can just and fate's whims are Especially now that he has a deck of cards. <laughs> Thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louis Soir of his purse scant moments after he made <laughs> fall upon this dock? Boys oh, will really? be boys. Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. Will this be your first visit to Charlie and Sir Estinian? I... I... It is happening, Ethan! Finally! Sir Estinian? Sir Estinian. <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? <laughs> I, uh, merely meant it as a professional courtesy. Since Alphano immediately being sense. epically awkward. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. <laughs> Estinian's like, please. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind. Alphano. <laughs> <laughs> You've made your point, Estinian. Painfully well. Okay. Estinian not standing by <laughs> titles I appreciate Better. a lot. Like mood. Tataru, you're doing excellent. She's getting ready for it. Are you alright, Tataru? You seem positively distraught. She's supposed to cry, she said it herself. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. What does that mean? It's just... We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. And, once again, I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. Oof. Everyone's gonna come back and live, I promise, okay? I'll hold you to that. You better. Ah, oh, good. You're still here. Hori! Coltinay! What brings you all this way? What do you think? 
Who wants to assist the maelstrom and the cobbles with a lunar primal operation? So we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. Oh, I forgot they had the echo. Flamine and the others wish you a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. Epic. No, I don't think they actually have the echo. We know. will too, of course. Aye. We, your fellow scions of the Seventh Dawn, will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. Epic. I mean, the thing about the end of the world is... All aboard for Charlian! Sorry, my brother just came in, farted, and left, and I feel... violated. It's time. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn aught of value. Epic. Have a safe journey, and please, please, be careful. You need to cry, you said you would cry. Can you even cry? <laughs> Bro, Hatia with the hairpins that I've only ever seen on the Persona 3 main, main female character. Can't see me crying because I'm wearing a mask. When she's 10 minutes and into so Final Fantasy 14 and chill, she gives me this look. Unknown. A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. A future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times. Naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. Who is the narr- I don't like that narrator. I don't think I like the narrator at all. That which lives is destined to die. Love nope. leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Treasure every moment. Every step of your decision. Narrator is you know who. Emmett, my boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We call him by his real name here. Wow. The depth of the sea of the day. In the cool. depths where souls and stars rest, find your truth. Epic. Emmett did do a thing for us against the Warrior of Light, so that's pretty rad. Woo. Indiana Jones sequence. It's not a boat. It's a weird little crystal thing. Are we going to get interrupted and have to do a dungeon and we'll see you again? I'm not looking for parties, game. Stop telling me I am. You know, I want to use my old uh, stream out overlay for this, but I, I forgot to put it on. It'll slow down the stream by too much. Come on, game. <laughs> Congestion. Day one experience. How exciting. Can't wait to do the first dungeon. It'll take me 45 minutes just to finish it. My message has disappeared, so I assume... No, just, no, 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 no. Gotta get there first. Oof. Yeah, I know it probably won't be today, to be fair. Is this... Here. I think... Feel. Oh, she's... What? Uh, did I get the order wrong? I did, okay. Why am I just chilling here listening to Hydaelyn? I, um, my trust in Hydaelyn has been damaged uh, as we've established. Dawned, my fellow earlier riser. <laughs> Why are we just sleeping here? Don't we get hammocks? So we're hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. Well, they're young. They need to grow. I feel like my mouth Called should be moving, but you fast. Hmm. 
I've heard nothing myself. I don't think your Braha doesn't have the echo, does he? In any hmm. case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? I don't like flies and coming into view at any moment. No, he does not have the echo. So what was the comment about hearing things? What did you think? Okay, that's just my character not understanding what's happening. Gotcha. There she is. Totally not Heidelin's core. For the record, I've been dodging spoilers like Neo from Matrix. My voice yet reaches you. Ah, I, I haven't heard about glad. it. Yeah. Feel you like to say that, don't you? Think. Remember when you tempered everybody in, uh, in Norvant? And thus do we meet face to face at That was last. right. My warrior of light, guided by the crystal. Why, um, why did you wait so long, though? Oh. 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 These are both very, very juicy choices. <laughs> Gonna play the diplomat though. Give her the benefit of the doubt. After your sojourn and first, I believe you have your answer. Oh, answer me properly! You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. Okay, good. What Eidolon has always been. A primal. That had been my theory from the beginning. But Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. Okay. And I was brought forth to okay, we're getting a fun lore dump. I guess when you meet the goddess that was there at the beginning, it makes sense. She yes, seems more forthcoming now. now. Those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. Epic. The greater his strength grows, the Shoot. Him. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Here, feel. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form. Oh? An that was, was it the towers? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, that's because of Fan Daniel. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. One thing I would like to say is that they took the same, it sounds like the same voice actress from early on in the game state, playing Hyrule, which is really cool because... Prepared you to surmount the insurmountable. If you tab over to the event... Oh! Five X packs in? Okay. No, she... Do, 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 do. The switcher doesn't have the power to draw your mind. Oh, that is kind of important. Power to draw your mind. Shoot. Then shall I honor the promise made in another time. I guess she's saying that another she lost age. a certain power. Cast your penis to the floor, folks. Charlians, just over yonder. Epic. Let's go to Charlene. I will not fight keep you functional. Fun. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. Yeah, uh, I guess. We shall meet again. And I just want to kill things, actually. Uh, bosses, probably. I'm just warning you, you know. You know, 
Uh, oh, right, sorry. Finishing my train of thought. My wife's texting me. <laughs> I just want to warn you, Heidelin. You know what I do with primals, and you just admitted to being one, so I got bad news for you. Unsheathed scythe. Oh, what a fine morning. Oh, still a bit stiff, though. Well, you didn't sleep in a bed, so it do be like that. I I'll say out here trying to be taller than Alphino with the high heels. Taking a look at the island already? No. Then let's go. Let's go. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. Am I on autoplay? Ah, the sleepers have arisen. Okay, no, I feel like it's just because of the movement they're having dialogue with Iron Act. There she is. <laughs> Good old Charlie. Yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, oh, Charlotte. Shit. Okay, well, from this distance, she's not that impressive. Home. People plug in their twists. At last. Well, maybe not in father's eyes. Well, yeah, they got disowned the because their dad's a jerk. If we must. You do know. You're not alone in this, don't you? You have my spear. And my side. Indeed. Tis and my cards. And safe. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side. The... How does the fountain work? I would assume it takes the water from the sea that flows into it using Thank you, my friends. the tide. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Or it's magic, because we're Charlian. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no is a weird greater concentration of wisdom in all the I world. Noticed. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. Yeah, unless you're cock-blocked at every... every occasion by those dinguses. Bingai? Bingai. Oh, we're gonna get rid of the Endwalker main theme playing. Onwards to new adventures. Ah, yeah! Oh, this track. I love this track. Already. The moon. And. I kind of knew they would do it because of the pan, but truly you love to see it. Oh, I'm already getting chills. Charlian, the solitary island nation of the northern seas. The relevance of where under the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, the relevance of the narrator all being manner of always X character is incredibly important, so I wonder why it's Hades Once, in the time. They deign to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. Okay. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Garlean boot set hostile foot on Alamegan's soul. Not surprising. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. <laughs> Is this going to be a lesson on how you can't tolerate intolerance if you preach tolerance? The northern empty, old Charlian, empty, just like their convictions. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Bro, it's nighttime already. Hopefully, they find no cause to deny us. <laughs> Given the trailer you stole, I think you can have to slap some tushies. With foreign powers, those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. Tis true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. Yeah, no one's neutral. But though. from a practical standpoint. An island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the Yeah, that'd be pretty counterproductive. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. These people have all been here before. May. 
Except for Stinian and I. Maybe Thancred? Quite. I don't know if Thancred. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlie. You don't think they'll notice that we're Scions? Okay. I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scion. If they give me the option of Scion, I, I feel the need to say Scion. Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Valdesian. And our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. Rad. Political lies, I love it. Gratia, it might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration officers were this way. Sorry. He's a student who doesn't know where he's going. Shall we? Fair enough. Hasn't been here in a while. Your staff looks a little small, my guy. Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry? Of course, they have a secretary, Lalafell. Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. She could just look around and see like seven Archons. I am. Grahat here of the students of Valdesian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorsian survey team. But have returned to assist with the reformation. Right, order. this is technically not a order. My associates here will provide additional support. Interesting. Oh, she didn't like Very that. Very good. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. And it seems some few of your companions are <laughs> also archons. If About you're 50%. Set forward, we can process those applications first. It tends to happen in Final Fantasy games, yeah. Ishtola rule. They do the ones who... Is this the first time we've heard her last name? See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with a citizen registry kept in the main repository. The Graha looks stressed. Look at his hand. Nice nails. I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. Heck yeah. Now, who do we have here? We've heard it before? Okay, gotcha. Lydia. <laughs> it's funny that they choose Alchemy the strangers Levier. to come last. And Alizé Levia. That's just how they rest? Okay. Your I don't know, it looks stressed. Also been approved. <laughs> he looks stressed. But it makes sense. It's the uh, it's the clause, right? I understand. The I understand. It's what I kinda thought. Lord his young progeny. Well, we're about to kick his head a little bit until he comes to his senses. Or his afterlife, whichever comes first. And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry. I urge you to avoid exacerbating wow, this place... the present situation. Oh, it rubs Mine's me the wrong troubled enough already. It's just straight up bureaucracy annoyances non-stop. Just political nonsense while they pretend there's no politics. It is the epitome of that. The natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. An application was made in advance. Just the sigh. Hmm. Name and occupation? <laughs> and it is a title well earned, I can assure you. Right, I forgot he's my number one fan. An adventurer by trade is what your documentation indicates. No mention of this particular title. Self-appointed, I take it. <laughs> nice. Way, your employer seems willing to vouch for your character, so I shall, <laughs> albeit reluctantly, grant you entry. It is in fact not self-appointed, and it's very against my character's uh, attitude to 
say style herself as the champion of Eorzea, but I did not want to miss that. He could say the Azure Dragoon. No. Formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon. Formerly, at least. And what pray tell at your least. now? <laughs> You'll allow me. It's there. He didn't even bother answering. <laughs> My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength of arms. <laughs> Surely you are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. No, she's not. She's a secretary and she's Mr. hounding us for bureaucracy garbage. If you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. Can I throw her out? She's annoying. She doesn't even have a name. Well, be fair but to while official. I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Oh my god. Be advised that even a single misstep may have severe repercussions. I'm going to be excited to leave this place. I have every confidence in my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. Okay, so I understand so far, if they're trying to set the tone for how the town is going to be, that uh, when you move into Charlene, they do give you a uh, complimentary stick to shove up your butt. Right? That's, that's what they do. That's what's going on. That's why everyone's so anal. It is good to see you. Likewise. Long voyage notwithstanding. We're two for two. We got the secretary, we got Fuxino, and they're both. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? Yes, ma'am. Did she know that Estinian was gonna freeze up there and not know what his job was? Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Ah, there you go. I guess technically our friends are all sure. As your well. mercenary, I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. <laughs> That's good. That's pretty good. I like it when they do like the dialogue that you can hear but not read. It's annoying if you want to hear, if you can't like hear it, you know, the sound of high enough, but it's pretty neat when you get little tidbits and stuff. Oh, I'm glad I spotted your ship coming into port. The officers are born bureaucrats and stickless for detail. In any case, you may relax and take a moment to get your land legs back. And, wow, that's a lot of XP. We're not going to be having any trouble leveling up, are we? Gotcha. Pretty rad. Don't mind my XP. Yeah. Okay, so weapons cough. I Dirium Sickle. Is it gonna be any good? Apparently it is. Oh! I kinda wanna see that. What is, what is that actually? Is it? Uh, Hang on. We gotta do the uh Oh okay, okay, okay. Definitely better looking than the previous one. No offense to the old school actual Reaper thing, but Reaper thing. It's pretty good looking. I'm here for it. We're not going to be able to replace any of our main equipment until, like, level 89, probably. <laughs> I'm thought to launch directly into an explanation of what I've learned and how I'm, we might proceed. Huh? But this is Selena and Estinia's first time in Charlene. And for the rest of you, homecoming that was not going to be... We don't need the tour, I promise. You must have places you wish to visit, the people you're dying to see. Therefore, I propose we postpone our agenda so that you may all have sufficient time to recover from your journey and get your bearings in the city. 84-ish? Oh, that's not so bad. Once you settled in, we can reconvene at the Baldessian Annex. How does that sound? I think I do have augmented cripple. This is a fine suggestion. We may not be welcome at the Levea Estate as such, but I should like to nose around the neighborhood all the same. Imagine having to rent a hotel in your hometown. I'm equally untethered, as it were. There is no particular place that my kin called home. Still, I would not pass up the opportunity to reincreate myself with the city. Likewise, a quick tour of the old haunts might even yield some useful gossip. Okay, so you have been in Charlie and you just want to come. The annex was west of the Etheray Plaza, was it? Wasn't it? I shall join you there anon. Yes, we'll see you there. Everyone's British, slash not British. They just have the accent that's not mine. 
I too have places I would be remiss in not visiting forthwith by thy leave. Do you think, like, he writes, like, scraps of wisdoms on his cards? What of you, Asinian? My service is as a guide or yours for the asking. That won't be necessary. Until we reconvene, I prefer to wander as the wind takes me. He's just gonna jump on a tower somewhere. But, but, I, I could... Oh. Oh? Well, Raha, would you like to join us then? You've been gone for quite a while, and this would be the perfect way to refresh those dusty old memories of yours. Oh, of course, if you'll have me. Come, Selena, Charlene waits. Ooh, it's a new quest sound, as per usual. I do have to check if there is. Nope, no visor. After you, my friend, I am more than content to follow your lead. Now accompany you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with best objectives. Leave Graha to behind by entering a different area, using the Ethernet by putting too much distance between you and him. You can also speak with Graha and select the option upon phase. Yeah. <clears throat> if you have to if you wish to have Graha accompany you again, return to speak with him at the original location. While he's accompanying you, next try speaking. That's Okay. All set, let's be on our way. Our first stop, amusingly enough, will be the last stand. It's a cafe on the west side of the harbor. Crowley is now also accompanying you. Lead your two companions to the last stand and speak with Crowley designated. While you're accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. It is cute, actually. Pretty cute. I like that. As long as they don't, you know, Winnie the Pooh me. What's my minion? Oh, it's, uh, it's the... Um, Scathic. No, it's kind of, it is Scathic. Uh, they follow me out of reason. Like, well, the unusual way is coming and going at all hours. I expect the assistance of an intrepid adventurer would be highly appreciated. I see no reason why you couldn't undertake any tasks which pique your interest. You have been cleared by the immigration officials, after all. I look forward to the day your name is celebrated in Charlie in the same way it is in Aeolus here. Yeah, well, self styled. The place is called the Peristyle, and it is the first stop for cargo loaded at the docks. You'll find the, the usual necessities for daily living and other imports vital to running an island nation, but also supplies that further Charlene's pursuit of knowledge, namely large quantities of books, specimens, and samples. Sorting these stacks certainly seems to keep the attendants busy. Cool, that's cute. I... Where's the main event? I haven't been yet. Okay, we can still tune, that's good. The waterfront, Wameme. Disgusted giant. Now that, it's a, that is a side one I hardly forget. The great statue of Fennec. As a student of Baldis, it was usually quartered on the Isle of Val, but I would gaze upon the skull's wise features every time I returned by ship to the city. The path leading out towards the sea is known as the Thalic Stoa, so named for the statue of the skull which stands at its end. As you know, the Shaolin people prize the accumulation of wisdom above all else. Thus, when Thaliak was chosen as our patron deity... Sorry, I'm kind of twitchy with the camera. Uh, it was more of a matter of pragmatism than belief, an alignment of principles, as it were. We may have honored him with a rather impressive sculpture, yes, but our faith is not so restricted as that of, say, the Ishgardians. Individual Shaolins can, and do, worship the divinities of their choosing. And, you know, they might not hate dragons, which... It's better than Ishgard. Though the bureaucracy is a mega, mega negative. And here we are, the last stand. I may have mentioned this before, but although our research into nutrition and food preparation is quite extensive, the average Charlie intends to regard seasoning and flavor with a certain indifference. Right, they make really nasty toast. How can I put this? The food is, uh, it's bland. It's as encapsulated by our infamous Archon Loaf, the prevailing sentiment towards cuisine is dietary value first and taste and distance second. There was one pupil at the studio, however, who could stomach the school's insipid meals no longer, so he quit his lessons and poured all his savings into building a proper eatery. <laughs> the, the Last Stand. Nice. And so The Last Stand came to be. It is, as the name implies, the sole dedicated outpost of fine dining in Charlie. The one and only bastion of the culinary arts in an isle of otherwise mediocre fare. I seem to recall their burger being- BURGER! I never thought- They- They sell dragon meat here? as one of the more impressive items on the menu. Not that I ever had the pleasure of eating one myself. 
Because you were a typical Shaolin when it came to cheap and convenient, Raha. But surely Tataru has since taught you how to appreciate a well-prepared dish. We should all stop in when time permits and sample the cafe's delights. Shall we press on? The stairs to the side of the cafe will take us up to the Etherite Plaza. The sick burns on Prile. Burger. This is the first I've seen the word burger ever said in this game, and it's fantastic. You gonna share? Or there? I mean, drinking, who cares? I drink water every day. Sorry. Bug in my sister. Talk to her, come on. An unusual shape, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like a, a, a fossil. I assure you, however, that it's a perfectly functioning etherite. Remember to attune yourself before we move on. I've already done it. Being the diligent tour guide that I am, I should make mention of the Confluence, a research facility located on this very plaza. Its much vaunted discoveries are the reason Charlene stands at the forefront of teleportation technology. In deciphering the underlying principles of elegant etherites, it's allowed us to understand and reconstruct that what was essentially a lost art. And off we go to our next destination. Our path leads northeast to the Agora, Charlene's largest marketplace. They did this thing uh, also in um, that one town, uh, the Crystarian. Where they just tour guide you, and I, I'm less annoyed here than I, I think I was back then. It's not as bad, but it's still... It's like, I just want to fight stuff. Repair my equipment. Alright, what you got from across? Welcome to the Agora, where you can find wares made in Shalian, as well as a wide selection of important goods. They also use to sell questionable prototypes from the various research institutes, but I think that practice has thankfully died out, for the most part. Otherwise, I can think of no better place to stock up for your next big adventure. Am I overselling it? <laughs> on a more serious note, the next stop on our tour is one which has particularly re particular relevance to our ultimate purpose here. Let's head back to the Etherite Plaza, follow the path north, then climb the stairs up to that imposing building at the very top. See, I could just not listen to what she's saying about how to get there because I have a map. Although, I guess the stairs are a pretty good indicator of where I should go. Like, if I didn't know about the stairs, I would have searched for a while. Okay. That guy got a shiny axe. That lady got a shiny axe. They got a shiny axe? Oh, yeah. First jump of the night. Excellent. There you go. Nice plan. Let me break it. Just let me break it. Yeah. Then fail. This is just a conversation. Okay. These little decorative features are typical of Charlene Arc. Aside from the research wing, our headquarters on the Isle of Val were rather simply, simple and rustic by comparison. Oh, you guys sound like you have a good life. <laughs> this is the Infeum, an area dedicated to the blessings of water. For Shalians, water represents more than life sustaining liquid. It is a reminder of the great flood which precipitated, precipitated the birth of our nation, as well as a symbol of the knowledge which flows from Thalai's divine Ewer. This is the reason you see an abundance of fountains throughout the city, and the propensity for utilizing water as a decorative feature in our architecture. Neat! No wonder I hate this place. Oh, Archon's design. Is that person? Oh my god, Lucian's got big wings. This grand structure before you is the Rostra. The name refers to the original public platform erected here on which a forum of elected representatives would deliver orations to debate policy. Although the stage has since evolved into council chambers, the nature of the forum and the duties of its members remains largely unchanged. Am I boring you, Raha? You seem awfully distracted. It's because Lucian just showed up. My apologies. From here, one can see the entire city spread out below. It is a nice sight. At least it put me in mind of my arrival the first. Those who had gathered at the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about building a new home. Naturally, my answers were all inspired by my knowledge of the finest settlement I could think of, the great city of... City of Shalian. Bit by bit, those few buildings grew into a town. The community of the Crystaria. I can almost see its echo. I see. Feel free to come up with here whenever you wish. I don't think the councillors would object to you simply enjoying the view. Such memories should be, memories should be treasured. Lucian's wings stirs fear in you? Oh dear. For now, however, the tour must go on. Our spectacle of sightseeing concludes with the fittingly named journey's end. Walk down the stairs to the east and continue straight ahead. 
Are those not, um... Oh, Lucian changes wings. Oh dear, fairy wings now. Fear. I know, I think the first wings he had, were they not, like, Diablos' wings? They look similar to something like that. Y'all better zoom. Okay, they know how to sprint, too, so I don't have to worry about losing. Cool. We've arrived at Journey's End. History tells us that this was where those who put ashore with Nar Archon Nyumkrem <laughs> built their first homes. In the present day, it serves as the residential district with the most important officials and the oldest Charlene families. Get Diablos' wings with 800 nut. You'll see that one mansion is clearly larger than its neighbors. That estate belongs to our friends from House Livia. All things considered, we should probably keep our distance from the time being. Of course, they're the richest jerks here. With that, we bring our little Shali and Toto to a close. I hope it has proven to be entertaining and enlightening experience. Now, shall we head directly to the Bell Disney Annex? You remember the way, don't you, Raha? Let me think. We head down towards the harbor, cross the bridge to our right, then follow the path below the Ether Regalizer. Correct! After you, Selena. He's supposed to be leading. Let me just get the Ether Regalizer. Lucian be stalking. Ah, they told me to leave it alone, but I'm here anyway. I will pick a fight with you people. I am ready. I'm gonna go to war against their dad. Show up to a council to shh. Crap all over everything and then just be rude to your children. Fired from dadhood. I hereby remove from you the title of daddy. You are now just crispy old Kaja. Oh, they kind of expected you to walk this one. Nerd. Nerd. Uh, right, we cross this bridge here, as I recall. We'll stick to the path. Be careful not to end up back in the ether red plaza. Not to. Chalene is full of educational and research institutions, but there are still professors who prefer to establish their own private practices. Not that I have attended the exclusive schools they run in these residences. Perhaps the twins could tell you more about them. Oh, the twins went to private school, did they? Mm-hmm. What is the blue? Oh. Retainer. Never heard of it. We're not supposed to go here. He specifically said don't go back to the Ether Red Plaza. That Reaper in white. Disrespecting the art of Edge. I like the concept of him just trying to follow Selena. I'm like, why are you doing that? Right. Are we gonna fight something? As the joyous look on Raha's face is undoubted, we informed you this is the Baldessian Annex. If you continue up the hill, you'll arrive on the doorstep of the Phenomenon, but I think we've explored enough for one day. I'll take you there another time. Inside with you then. Okay. 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 Not another secretary, I've had enough. I'm back and I brought Selena and Raha with me. So she calls him Raha. Uh, which I believe is one of the only people I've seen do that so far. Uh, in the story. Uh, but I know like it's, it's generally you're supposed to. See, case in point, they're calling him Raha. Oh, you're right about the ship then. Hello, Raha. It's nice to see you again. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Selena. I've heard many a tale of your experience. Ochka. Ochka Tsunjika. It's been an age. Allow me to introduce Ochika Chunjika, Administration Officer for the Students of this. He oversees the day-to-day -day business of the Annex. You may recall meeting his cousin, Ejika? Oh yes, Eureka. I've read the initial reports. Quite a shock to hear what's become of the island. Do take care if you have the opportunity to rejoin the expedition. Oh, <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said the optional stuff. Nice. This place is like a second home for the students. The Isle of Val served as our main headquarters. Of course, but we often had occasion to visit Charlie. Whether to make use of the city's research facilities, attend conferences, or procure supplies from distant shores. And the annex here was built to provide lodgings for our members while we engage in such activities. Ever since our former headquarters, along with the Isle itself, vanished, the annex has served as our base of operations. And yet it feels so empty, with so many laws to us, our organization is a shell of its former self. Did Charlie just disappear for a while? The day will come when we will see the students rise again. 
Or was it the Isle of Val that just disappeared? But first, we must ensure that tele the Telephoroi fall. Through that door on the left there is the main hall, where we can discuss our options moving forward. Epic. An instanced area to see cutscenes happen, right? Once everyone arrives, that is, you probably have time to rest before our discussions begin in earnest. It's on the other side. Nice camera pan. Nice, nice. I've had private quarters prepared for you in the Andron, so please feel free to make yourself at home. Oh, the nap room's perfect for an afternoon doze. You would say that, Mr. Catman, sir. Oh, I didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. The chambers are quite well appointed, far more so than some cheap roadside inn. You maybe it should. Ah, uh, twas simply that we were often so busy with research or exhausted from journeys abroad that we would slip into the Andron just to steal a few weeks. And thus they became known amongst the students as nap rooms, even if many such naps might last well into the following morning. Say the word, and I'll be happy to show you the your chamber. Hopefully the others won't be too long in coming. I'll wait for you all in the main hall. Remember what she called a a mercenary? <laughs> Good times. Does that mean they're no longer following me? I guess we're gonna have to change area anyway, so. It's basically towns now our trust. It's funny. Okay. Look at this tall boy. Whoa! Level 90 paladin. Who would have guessed? Feeling refreshed and alert, our colleagues should be wandering in soon, so I suggest we stay here and wait for them to join us. It's up to you, man. I'm only in control of the speed of combat. Yurianje! He's late. Pray forgive me. I was delayed. Okay, at least he followed me. It's fine, Yurianje. We're all here now. Yep. Let's get down to business then, shall we? Let's get down to business. Come what may, we must prevent the Telephoroi's plans from coming to fruition. Yeah. At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian. Not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. As that, most uh, of you know, the 99 members of the Forum are elected from the general populace. But they all this don't think guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. Fine. The Bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlian focus on recording history. Oh, while remaining conservatives. Entirely always fun. In the making. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather Gallif. They don't get a fun name? I wonder which one's gonna be a problem. Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny a They're tempered call calling it now. Was even more concerning was the fact that many cited other more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. The world's ending, yeah, but I got something to do first, so they can wait. Sure. Ingenio's refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. It was as if, having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, he had simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? I don't know. His bucket list, maybe? A mystery, indeed. And one which I ask for your help to solve. Our future may depend on it. I blame as the As for our second potential path, it concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. I feel like that's going to be the one that will probably work better, or they'll just be the same thing. Think. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena like the, the world over. Mysterious relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared to our more isolationist Charlie and colleagues, we have strong connections overseas. Namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. Yeah. Like that cube there? The request in I want to go into that big comes cloudy from one spot. Such acquaintance, Nadana, an alchemist residing in Fafnir. Her missive Fafnir. describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a lunar primal. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Oh, we cashed out the swear jar. Okay, remind me once we're done. Can't forget that. 
Heck yeah. So there's a tower in Fafnir. Naturally, they're all over the world, so not surprising. In response to this threat, the Sartrap of Rods at Han, the individual the who governs the city-state, okay. has That's a title I've never heard before. ...to find a means to deal with the Spire. Yeah. Make it go, make it go boom. The artisans good. of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition. One rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. It is possible, nay, probable, that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern ally. And this is the first we've heard of this? They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further Do we have research. to dance? To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior. Ooh, me! By the blessing me! Of I'm that! Me! Let me out of this bureaucracy riddle place! Assuming we divide our forces to pursue both of Kra's lines of inquiry, then having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. Yes! But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance. I can't help you with that. Equal, I'm not a studious person. The Thavnarian one, given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of both. Okay, so stay. Yes, it is quite the quandary. No, it's simple. You guys haven't watched the trailer, but I have. So here's what's gonna happen. Stola, she stays here. Tia, he stays here. Tia is not his name. Graha, he stays here. Thancred, Yurianje, we're going to Thavnir. Let's hop off. Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one. Oh, I know what they're gonna do. Split quests. Never mind. I'm all caught up. Lead the charge on both fronts. I'm all caught up. Nice. You are indeed our champion. As to which well, can you tell the lady the at the the, the front desk? Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. Please. As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Shire. She really hurt my feelings. I should also like to steal the services of an archon or two. There's like five of them here. And thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. Is oh, cross that archon? Gotcha. I guess she's just a student. Allow me to offer my assistance. She has I have some small amount of experience in the field of research. Hey, you're an archon. You're not. Alexander, I would also like to help, if you would have us. You guys aren't allowed. Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and no, the forum enough. might be thinking. So they're going to be going on two separate paths of study, of course, and I'm going to be the the murdering things probably. Right. The rest of us will make the journey to Thavnir. Thavnir! I don't know if I want to do the quest line here Thoughts? first or the one in Thav Objection. Thavnir first, because the Thavnir one is going to be the definitely going to be the more fun one, probably. I but this one's going to have a on my bunch of lore. The Empire. And though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things I know are. where the bathroom is in Thavnir, so we could go and I could find I'll us that. I'll be happy to have you along then. Thumbs up. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriange. Thank you. Can you make your own cartridges? Yeah. Afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details. What's he gonna do? No one's gonna be able to make his cartridges. We're still staying here. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are. Oh yeah, we got a hideout, Persona Five style. Investigations prove fruitful. So when are we going to Mementos? When are we stealing the treasure? That's a nice scythe. I really like that scythe. That aesthetic is. I might actually, depending on what the sides that look, the sides that come after look like, I might end up actively making this one a glamour. It's just really nice. I'm not sure I feel like a purple bar. I like a silvery scythe. That'd be pretty nice. Okay, so we got a split. Um, start with that. Kajask and Vesta. I am that. Yes, I may missed. It won't have me change. What does it look like, though? Reminiscent of Cloud's outfit with, from Advent Children. Like, different. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Not quite the eye level too good. Um, Alright, Cry, let's do the sad one first. <laughs> Cry is intended to bring his name. Now, something changes come with Charlie, and together we will divine the underlying cause of the form's calcis. As I mentioned before, however, questioning the calcis directly is a fruitless endeavor. Seem to have already come to a consensus as to what and how little they are willing to divulge. A lot of size look really good. Yeah, I've seen the level. Level 91? I'm not sure. One of the sides that's just like a four bladed scythe and it doesn't look that good. 
So I began scouring Charlene's archive and historical records for any hint of a connection to the final days. Suffice it to say that progress has been slow. There are only so many dusty pages one can skim in a day. But now that I have this band of willing reinforcements, the search should prove all the swifter. Let us reconvene outside Numenon, shall we? Exit the annex to the right and you'll find the archives on the western edge of the woods. Ah, okay, we're actually going outside. Bav now bam. I have Kral's instructions in hand. If you are ready to set out, then so do we. Having been to Thavnir before, I can travel there by Etherite. But what are the rest of you? A another sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Why didn't you guys teleport into Charlian? I guess because we needed to be guided, but you didn't need everyone. Kral was of the same mind and has already secured the aid of the good folk of the Confluence. We'll take ourselves there. Confluence, thou sayest. Oh, sus. I'm afraid so, my friend. Curiosity. Thou wilt recall the hunt for Iceheart, unto whose sanctuary we delivered thee owing to the knowledge of our comrade Moonbrida. Moonbrida was an authority on etherology, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of her parents' example. Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the Confluence. Oh. Haven't you gone to see them yet? Oh no, Yuri Anje. I... okay, fine. I attempted to do so earlier, but to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. As it hath the many times I thought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Neither time nor introspection have revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus have I kept my silence. Oh, this is gonna be an emotional one, huh? Okay. Whether you come with us or no is your choice and yours alone. If it is too difficult, we'll manage. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence, and I shall face that which hath long been overdue. If it's settled, then let us be off. Oopsie, oopsie. Uh, when we arrive, we should look for a researcher named Kite. Okay, so we're gonna tap. Stick to, we'll just start with what's local. I don't want to have to, like... Teleport in between a bunch of times. <coughs> Love those loading screens. Absolutely fantastic. I would like to fight something. Very, very stop. It would be pretty nice if we could just fight something. I can't tell if those are nameless NPCs or is that actually yeah. No, I didn't, so good thing. Oh, this in annex. Excellent. I like that this uh I think it's scathing. It killed her. Whoops. Oh yeah, she does come out of the coffin, I forgot. <laughs> the kid that comes in a problem. Funny. Kite. Wait. This is the Thavnir bound group. Dang it! Nice hair. Well, now, this is a rather lot of stern faces. Are my library books overdue again? Not to our knowledge. We are associates of Pride and the students of Baldissian, and we seek passage to Thavnir and understand that you can assist us. Ah, the test subjects. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Test subjects? Oh, you hadn't heard? Well then, allow me to explain. In order to travel to an etherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess of ether hurtling along the live stream. An inconvenient but incontrovertible... Incontrovertible? Okay. Limitation of etherite teleportation. But what if I were to tell you that there's a way to travel to an etherite without being attuned to it? I'd call it a crock and board. A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years, we've labored to make such travel possible, that people might move about more freely. We've finally done it. We've created a new kind of etherite that doesn't require attunement. Truly, that changes everything. Well, my language may have been may have been a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these etherites, but the etherites themselves must have been pre-attuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between the two points. That's easy, but that means that only one etherite can link to another. Station, right? Or less limited? Like more limited? Yeah. 
It just so happens that of our first test subject, the test pair of etherides, one has been installed here in Chalain and the other over in Yedlimad, a port town in Thavne. As you may know, I keep clicking buttons because the touchscreen is a button. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Rats at heart, and indeed, we owe much of this breakthrough to the contribution of their alchemists. So to sum up, we're to test these etherites. How fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accident has impaired my ability to channel ether. Will this be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say these etherites were made for people like your good self. The magic symbiote within will whisk you away without any effort on your part. Veritable dream come true. Far be it from me to worry about such things, but do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? I like... <laughs> she has an etherite earring, for freak's sake. The only permission required is yours, so assuming you're willing, we're all set. It may come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly in the live stream, in the statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. But it's plain for you that you are it's plain that you want most people. <laughs> Mr. Skrile surely knows how to pick them. <laughs> the dubious most dubious of thumbs up. Oops again. But in here, they've resigned their post. The expertise was needed elsewhere. A large scale project handled by the form itself, as I understand. I'm not privy to the details. Let's see. Any other questions? No, let's get going before you change minds. Please see your preparations and head outside to the ether right now. I'll be along shortly. So, instead of being able to teleport from a place from wherever with no problem, uh, maybe he bit on event in case someone shouts a spoiler. you think people would do that? That'd be rude. It's, a, it's just, I'm, I'm mildly pet peeved by the fact that it keeps changing. Like, it keeps adding to it. I... Uh, I don't want to go to Thavnir just yet. I guess I don't want to Thavnir just yet. Where'd she go? She hasn't loaded in. Gotcha. Estinian didn't even bother walking into it. Is that a scythe? Oh. You can also just hide the chat. Good point. Get one of these. Uh, I don't want to pick up. Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a destination. My bad. Do people actually just shout spoilers? That's so rude. That's familiar music. Right, we're all set. Uh, she has a voice that sounds about how I thought it would. Just the four of you, was it? Three. Yes. I'm already mm -hmm. attuned to the Some people were doing it. it or something for a few days. It was worst week one. That's so. That's gross. You are? Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Yeah, you would have. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please? Sure. Send me to the moon. How do you tune two etherites? Spooky. Yes, right there is fine. Take a deep breath. And I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. When do I get to uh, fight an anima? You think she'll answer me? Probably not. Well. Oh, and one last thing. You might experience a not the time. touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck. That's like giving the side effects before, like right as you're injecting a vaccine. What? <laughs> I knew it. Well, we've been gone. Naturally, this only allows you to get to an etherite that you can then tune to and not have to worry about. Love that, so good. What? And again, the 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 non-subtitled dialogue is fantastic. Man, you really gotta love these loading screens. Still better than certain video games I've played, though. Looking at you, Sonic 06. How are they gonna represent this on the map? I thought so, okay. <laughs> 
That was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Wow, that's like halfway across the globe. Assuming this is a globe. It's been presented as a globe. We've seen it as a globe, so yes, it's a globe. Whoa! Oh, Ho to city state Rods at the Rising from the southeast waters of the bounty, this isle of plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two yes, we're peoples. And tears. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a that's process nice. not unlike their precious. And that's why they have the weird castle thing in the middle of the town, right? Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality that could hold invaders at bay for the time. So these both nations like to be neutral. Gotcha. Now across this vibrant isle comes thinking? a fog of malice. What choice do you have? Oh, that would be the either sickness. We also pick Thavnir first. I mean, what chance? Rianja, hey, is he? Oh, never mind. For this split, yeah, I, I chose Thavnir because fighting potentially. I guess no. I also, against just, such an insidious foe. Yikes! It's not the whole world. But now I'm disappointed. Islabard Thavnir. Thavnir's a whole like <laughs> same dude. Oh, Rianje. Ugh. I can't imagine what that's like. It's sitting as like, oh, poor sods. I've seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> Okay, so it's a time saver, but uh Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. I'd like my belly to actually become solid again instead of just ether. Oh, our only defense just left. What's gonna happen? There was a note. Prowl's instructions. Don't let Astinian roam the markets alone. <laughs> <laughs> Bad with coin. Oh no! <laughs> Frankly, Kral's instructions don't mean nothing to me. If it was Tataru, then I'd be scared. Manage to will yourself to your feet, but given your condition, will you be able to reach Astinian in time? Uh now I'm gonna eat the right crap. Yeah, I figured I figured that'd happen. Periodical uh yikesy doos. Ether sickness. Gives you the slow status effect. Oof. He's alarmingly bad with coin. F in the chat for Stinian's pocket money. You there, I need three drinks. Something that helps with either sickness. Hi, Manusia. A traveler. I mean, greetings. Greetings and welcome. You are wise, good sir, to come to me. My special Amra Lassie, made with only the finest and freshest ingredients, is famed for coming on Lily Bellies. By way of warm welcome to Tafne, I'm pleased to offer to you for the low, low price of 19,800 gills. But not one, not two, but three bottles of bargain among bargains. Hmm. Why is this high road robbery and you want to say as much as Sinian, but you realize any words of warning cry out would be accompanied by your last meal? Oof. Well, there's an elephant! You must stand before Sinian and using gestures deny. You can barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so urgent? So in Thavnir, they like to haggle, huh? Wait, I shouldn't buy the lassie. The merchant is swindling me. Ugh! 
sincerest apologies, sir, but I appear to have my prices confused. Actually, 1,890 gil for three bottles of Lassie. That confusion would have been quite costly for both of us. Very well, then. For both of us. Oof. He initially said it was... Uh, minus low, low price of... Can't scroll up. But he said here, 1,000. There's a bottle for each of you. Take them to the other and get some rest. <laughs> I'll be back after I've explored the town. Oh dear. Well, at least that happened and he didn't end up paying a million dollars. I like blue. It's a nice blue, I should say. Where am I going? Oh, I still have either sickness. Where am I going? Come on, Selena. We're, we're doing the entire expansion like this. No. Cyan. Yeah, praise be to the Twelve. My stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heart felt thanks to the Innistinian and to the fine fruits of this land. You were in time. Excellent. You've spared us to Tower's wrath. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You've got a point there, buddy. Sweet, sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours too. Chug. Through my mask. You see, the reason I'm still wearing this helmet is because of COVID. Right, I'm ready to get on with it. That lassie truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, though, see? He 100% went and bought like $2,000. Th thy hair. I have bound it, just the most I could do against this heat short of sh shedding my armor. <laughs> May I ask where you got the cord for it? Local vendor, the man said it's a Dan Davnerian weave, tough and not easily unraveled. How much did it cost? 9,400 gil, a steal I was told. <laughs> this is nothing fancy, but I've always valued function over form. That's incredible. I dare say not even Alpha No could hold a candle to you. It's not uncommon for most to set the price side. Doesn't seem excessive here. Oh wait, why am I British all of a sudden? No. I'm inclined to agree with that assessment. It doth seem excessive, unusually so. Claiming Thavnir as its dominion, the nation of Rans at Han hath long thrived as a hub of commerce. Beginning, there were the Arc Arcasadora, a Matanga tribe indigenous to this island. Over time, they came to be joined by other races, and through their intermingling and culture rich and distinct did emerge. From alchemy to textiles, the products of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and covered the world over. A development only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint between east, betwixt east and west. All of this hath combined to make a trading power, Radzat Han. Yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through ju judicious governance and stringent, stringent regulation, neither of which I've seen any evidence. Given that merchants as a gateway town are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so, the opportunistic prices, pricing is rampant, doth, that opportunistic pricing is rampant doth suggest that oversight is much weakened. Mayhap that people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. I'm sorry, I can't speak Yorianje consistently, apparently. Prudent and practical eye. We've lost to learn we've not to lose by learning more. So ere we seek out Kral's acquaintance, shall we see what information we can gather here in Yed Yedlimad? Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying start, but we'll make up for it. We get Lassie. Come on, Lassie. Here we go. Excellent. Quest. Ooh, he gives me hang gear. Right, let us split up and make inquiries in town. Selena, the peer is yours. Once we have learned what we can, we can regroup by the either right. Off putting, though the mere sight of it may be. <laughs> we can use it normally now. Level 
like that they just ran away. It's two sides, uh, two blades. This reminds me of a town from Chrono Cross, actually. Root. Creatures laden with fruits, but they are on the verge of spoiling us if they have been left too long. So they have trouble selling it. Here itself. Actually, this reminds me of the Final Fantasy X city more than the Chrono Cross one, my bad. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels farther away. Compared to other ports you have visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. What am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit. Though I don't know why I bother. I hardly sell anything these days. Business has never been this terrible, but I suppose things could be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat like Kalzal. Don't envy his position. Better to be alone with my little operation, I've come to realize. You're a traveler by the looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kalzal a visit. Be glad for tidings from abroad. Like as not, you'd find him at the Saltwind Sail. Harbor Guild building across the water from here. So I assume that's not. You didn't give it a Where's the fries? Well, now, if it isn't Traveler, you're worth a sight in these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide berth since that accursed tower suddenly appeared on Narinair. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but no, it had to spawn fell fiends as well. Still have our lives and thanks, thanks to the Radiant Host, but business is as good as dead. What will become of us? Only the gods know. Radiant Host. Hmm. Nice little seafaring town. The Muskins aren't coming. We already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. The Empire's at war with itself, and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's the tower sitting on our doorsteps, spitting out monstrosities. The city has its defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. You can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. Ah, but this will be an enormous loss. All right, all right. Forget about the Dalmaskin. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines, all the perennial Hanish favorites. The soldier works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. I know all these things, Kalzala do. Which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. Exhausted, alright. Night, Abyss, no worries. Have a good night. Yeah, I do. I do work in the morning as well. So. You are? I won't be streaming this for another week and a half. You're a fool now, are you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. No, I'm an adventurer. See, that's a shame. Sorry, we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Mm, excuse me. My, my name is Matsuda. I'm here to see Carl's mom. Oh, big eyes. It seems he's busy. Come back later. On the wheat. Matsya, give me the gloves. What we got, mate? Yes, can I help you? I remember seeing you back in the guild. You want to speak with Kazal too, didn't you? I'm Matsya, fisherman of Akiali, a nearby village. I sell my cash to Kazal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for us, from us for a while now. I heard that the consortium had been struggling and became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free, anyway, he's a hard working man. I dare not disturb him. I'll disturb him for you. If I may ask, what is it that you do? I'm a killer for hire. An adventure, you say, and you travel the world helping people. That must mean you're great, deal great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? Oh my gosh. He's shy. 
See, I've brought some fresh fish with me, a portion I couldn't preserve, and I want to sell them. Problem is, I'm terrible with people. I've only ever dealt with Kalzal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist. Please, as silly as it might sound, will you not put all the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? Oh dear. Hmm. If you're willing, please let me know. We can begin at once. Event to follow cannot be skipped. We wish to cancel any pending duty fighter. Gotcha. Smart. I durium. I'm gods of maybe. No change. Wait, those are the wrong thing. So it would look something like this. They're not bad. I mean, it looks good. It's just not. It comes with a necktie, though. I don't know how I feel about that. And a cape. Capes are dangerous. To do it then, show me how to deal with customers. I'm in your debt. Right, please try putting my fish too. Shall we say three people in Yidlimad? I will observe you and learn. Matsya is now accompanying you. Keep on your side in order to proceed with custom judges. Leave Matsya behind my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's funny because other players would not be able to see the accompanying players. Play dudes. We run a... Yes. I got fish here. People following you can sometimes fly. That's funny. I'm sure your bosom fish are very fresh, but this is rather sudden. I don't need any fish right now, so thanks, but no thanks. Fail to make a scene. Wah, wah. Never mind, it goes, never goes well the first time. I'm sure you'll fare better with the next customer. Why is Matsia so pure? Too bad I can't fly. Who's next? Dang it. Mounts outrun them. Gotcha. Oh no, you're still with me. Maybe Matsu is just slow. Nashreen. Nice outfit. Poker, are you? Do you sell fruit by chance? If so, I want to buy some armor. Let's say it doesn't. They don't need to be export quality. None of these are good options. Um, no, as I said, it's armor that I want. If I wanted fish, I would have asked for it. Don't. That's not what they want. There's, there's no point forcing it. Let's move on to the North South Town, shall we? I don't see... <laughs> I don't see us selling anything, Matsuya, but... Filler episodes, be like. Okay, what do we got? There? No, no, we're gonna take the stairs. Are there stairs? Hello? What the flip? I guess we have to go by inside. Just like in Kagane. That's a door that does not. Let's see. Hmm. So there's nothing here either. This is to be disappointed. Oh, of course, right. No worries, no worries. Hey, Ryoji, I hope you're having a good time. I'm talking to this friend, uh, the elephant dude. Bazama. What a name. What is it? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh, God, my stomach. Uh, hey, I've got some of that drink. Need the sickness? No, no, nothing else so unusual. I'm not hurry to get back to work. I just ate a little too quickly. 
clams. We all try to sell the fish. No, I could, but I can't afford to be idle. Like, there's not circumstances surely get worse before they get better. And so I'm working as hard as I can while I still can. Better prepared. What a... It's not like I'm trying to impress anyone. LMAO. Excuse me, I must be getting back to work. Point. Too bad we could make a sale, but did we manage to build something of a relationship? Yeah, that's... Thank you so much for your demonstration. It's truly eye-opening experience. Come, let us return to the pier. Okay, so, rip. <laughs> what happens if you succeed? Can you actually succeed a sale? I don't know about that. Hate that I can't see your mount, mate. Too bad. Ow. You got two or three, so you can sell. Okay, you just gotta butter them up. Butter's bad for your health. Oh, that little chatty chat spot, dude. You're, uh, one of those, uh, warrior dudes. Apparently this expansion likes you. Thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. Though you didn't manage to sell any fish in the end, by the way, you fear to see a post strangers gave me such courage. When I piddle my wares, I'll remember your example and endeavor to be fearless too. Are they all just giant softies? See, there's only so much more I can do alone. I hope that things will return to normal for Kazar soon. But I had a familiar voice. Oh, Who should it be, Mamatsia? Alza, have you finished your business with the guild? So you were there too. Give me, try as I might, I can't find any buyers. No ships coming in, hardly anything going out. Simply any, aren't any options at any rate. So you can't buy my fish anymore. Sorry, Matsy, I truly am. For now, you must peddle your own goods. For myself, I can't. I want to help you, I do, but as it stands, I can barely help myself. Pour all of my all into this consortium, and I'll be... That word I can't say, if I let it fall apart. Friends and families, depending on me, I can't. I won't fail them. Sisters as my witness. Huzzah. Not to worry, using what I've learned from you, I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Well, I'd best return to my village, but thanks again. Please take care of the road. <laughs> that guy just decided to do, do pull up sit ups. See, you've been busy, man. She'll learn to my trust. The economy is in the toilet, my dude. Toilets have not been ex 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 invented yet, but it's in the toilet. See, we also heard that towers affecting many locals' livelihoods. Mm, but to think that it would be to such an extent. For another notable, if not wholly unexpected, discovery, disappearances and kidnappings are disturbing and commonplace. As before, the culprits are almost certainly tempered Imperial soldiers. And as before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth a lunar primal. Business as usual for the telephone. Well, that's pretty cool. That means we get to fight the uh, elephant primal. Okay. That Matsya fellow you were helping. He's Arkasadora, isn't he? Apparently it's just almost exclusively his people that are being kidnapped. Should he be traveling alone? If something is as perpetrator's aim, it doth stand to reason that Ar Arkasadora shall would be their primary targets. Well, it is their ancestors which prevaileth in the land, and many are devout adherents to them. What is the faith of their ancestors? We'd better go after them. Akiali lies to the west, as I recall, same direction as Kral's acquaintance, incidentally. Settle then, keep your eyes peeled while we make for the village. Ooh, we're gonna be picking fights! I'm so excited, we'll finally get to put our blade to the test. Step child. 
Everything is level synced as usual. Got him on my email, the inmate of town. This is town actually. Oh, wow. You should get two either reds on three. Pardon? Elephant. Power. Pain. You don't see Matt standing nearby, but the elevated ground up ahead may provide a better vantage point. Ah, the usual item and toys rip off. Discovered a new location. Yay, Griffin. Oh, no. Well, Mother, you don't work tomorrow, so. Yes, I do. Oh. Mm. Well, Mother, good luck. What the heck is that? I want to see its face. See, not see Matsya from here. I am going till two. If I'm still alive. No, leave me alone. Help, somebody help. Came from the north. Don't turn around. Whoa, that's not what I expected. That's pretty big for a mob. That's an angry looking elephant. The plan is to go till two so long as I can stay awake. Matsya is being harassed by Imperialis. Finally get to bust out the scythe, let's go! First thing you should have done, which I was going to have is this. Ah, yeah, that's got a cooldown, don't worry about it. Oh, that's right, I have two gauges. I forget what the blue gauge does. I think it's shroud gauge. We did it, and it felt nice. Huh, oh, where did they go? Why are you here? See, you found him in time. I have the rolling accent for him. You and your friends came to look for me. I don't know how to thank you. On my way home, I took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about well, everything. And then these men came back. Kidnappers. We heard that the Arca Sidoria were being targeted. Surely you have as well. Perhaps it's best if you took refuge in the city. Well, we've considered it, me and the others, but fishing is all we know, the ocean with all we have. See, that's your decision to make, but you should care not to travel alone. A question, if I may. I wasn't talking to you. It is our understanding that strange fiends have emerged from the tower. What canst thou tell us of these beings? Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard that some bear an unsettling resemblance to our divinities. Well, there you go. For that reason, some have taken to calling the tower Zot. House of divinities in the old tongue, it means. That's one word for three words. Pretty good uh, economy. But they're not true divinities. They're monstrous imitations that bring only death. To have one's faith so twisted is a grievous indignity, and full justified art thou in thine outrage. Know that tis for no other purpose than to, but to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. In time we may be forced to contend with these false gods, and thus we would learn all we may about them. Wilt thou not tell us of these thy divinities and their true nature? You've come all this way to save us, really, to think I had you peddling fish. Well, to answer your question, yes, of course, we would gladly tell you about our gods. We, I say, because I'm a terrible storyteller, and I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. Please come to our village. We're good, God-fearing folk, all of us, and we'd be honored to show our knowledge. And fish! What sayest thou? Shall we pay visit to Archeoli? Obviously. Where'd you think you were going? Wonderful. Just follow the road west and down the hill. You can't miss it. If their architecture is not massive, even for a village, I'm calling BS. It's just the simulacra of the Afnerian gods that are being summoned. If any doubt existed before, there can be none now. The kidnapped Hanish are imprisoned in the tower. I pray that we will be able to save them. 
Though indeed, saving them will mean confronting their false gods, like as not. I, as you said, will do well to study their religious traditions. Dak Yali. Like, so far Final Fantasy has done pretty good in showing us what I call cultural architecture, obviously. Uh, in the case of, like, doors, as uh, in... Uh, doors are a good example because you can see there are doors that are smaller and they're generally just smaller architecture-wise, I believe, if I recall correctly. Uh, so if this village doesn't have really big houses, no matter how many houses there are, they still have to be larger than usual. Or at least comparable in size, a little bigger than the Limsa houses. Though the Limsa is not where the Rogadine general lives, so I don't know. Rogadine architecture and these guys should have similarities in the size. Even though these guys are probably bigger than Rog Rogadine. Village. <laughs> Welcome to Akali, my friend. The name means White Beach, and there isn't much here save that. But please make yourself at home. The pendants have already begun talking to everyone. Feel free to show yourself around and do the same. Any one of us can tell you about our gods, but you could do worse than to start with Kanga and old Hasvedia. Hasve Has Hasvedia. Hasveda. Hasvida? They're free at the moment as it happens. Hasvida. Yeah, it's it's like a single house, too, maybe. You wish to know about our gods. What a curious visitor you are. Most of all, fish in any case, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I don't know how it is whence you hail, but our isle is home to many gods. They can be divided into groups. The Manusia beings of wisdom who assume the form of men, and the Murga, beings of might who assume the form of beasts. Together, they are divinities, their forms and personalities many and varied. Some are kind and gentle, others stern and temperamental, just like we mortals can be. All are possessed of great insight and experience, and by heeding their teachings, we strive to be better people and live better lives. Interested in learning about our gods, you say? Eh, that's what I like to hear. Pick up your, pick up your ears, then, and listen. Ancient times, Manusia and the Merga, deities who look like men and beasts, respectively, were locked in combat, conflict. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of the Manusia, the Merga cast aside their own heads and took up those of their foes. Likewise, the Manusia coveted the might of the Merga, and so they too resulted in heads. Thus were born new gods possessed of both might and wisdom, as they ushered in an age of harmony between the two factions. From then on, as a sign of their esteem for one another, Melanusia have worn animal faces and the Merga have limbs of men. I want to say this reminds me of certain myths I read, or, or tales or legends I read from uh, Hindu mythology, which I kind of slow, slightly expected from the fact that just the aesthetic of these guys. There you are, I'll let think of two about our gods, I trust. Whilst you were off talking to the others, I remember something that may be of interest. If you could let your friends know, I'll go fetch them from my home at once. Apologies for the wait. I wish to show you this hanging scroll, which depicts three of our most revered deities. Well, uh, means we should like to see it. Ah, epic. We get a crash course. There are Manusia. You heard about them. Yes, three sisters. <laughs> the Magus sisters. The center one is the eldest, Sinduruva, a goddess of wisdom. For this, alchemists hold her in the highest. Her right is the middle sister, Sanduruva. As a goddess of wealth, she counts many traders amongst her followers. On the left is Minderuva, the youngest sibling. She presides over the craft and so is beloved by weavers. Although each is worshipped for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people keep in their homes for good fortune. Is it Cindy, Sandy, and Mindy? In like fashion to the Minusia, the deities of Eosia preside over myriad aspects of life, and what of the Merga, if I may ask? Mega hold power over nature. In ages past, they were revered as guardian deities in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit a temple of ruins, you'll find their images there. Among them is a god who possesses a gadget's head, and he is venerated as the progenitor of the Arca Sadora. Then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. You worship dragons too. It's said that an ancestor of the Satra, that's the ruler of Radzat Han, forged a covenant with a dragon divinity in ancient times. That's this div- oh, is this, um... 
one of the brood of the uh, Midgar Soma. This divinity has since acted as the guardian deity of the satrap. Legend holds that if ever the satrap is in need, his dragon ally will fly to his aid. Dragon ally. You claim to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from truth. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear. I'm confident that the information you've given us will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. This is very kind of you to say thank you. I will pray for your success. You need a confidence boost, my friend. Right, I believe it's time we sought out Pryor's acquaintance, an alchemist by the name of Nidana. According to Pryor's notes, we're to find out a place called the Great Work, further north along the coast. I'm almost level 81. So exciting. Say as I shine his eyes, I wasn't there before. Did you say you're going to see Nidana? Oh, how I envy you. She's brilliant and beautiful, kind and understanding. And did I say she's beautiful? I could stare at her dainty ears and adorable trunk all day. Those eyes, when you meet her, take care you don't drown in them. Right, so you've got a, uh, a crush on whoever we're going to go see, as well as you've just told us that whoever we're going to see is a Marcus Adora. Interesting. Very good. Is that a hermit crab? Bam, ba -dam, bam, ba -dam, bam. I don't actually think I'm not going there. Let's see. Free XP for discovering places I forgot that was a thing. Come on, man. Where is our acquaintance? Hopefully not kidnapped by this thing, please. Oh, jeez. There we go. I'm starting to nod off. That's not good. Oh, no. Not dead people. That's not a good sign. I think Kral's friends did. Oh, that's an e that's an ether you've seen before. Mm. Oh, dang, it's what happened here? Their dress yes, marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. I'm just taking a nap, dude. Thinkest thou they but slumber? Maybe. I believe Maybe. so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Yep. Nice shoes. Oh. We have guests. Yeah. You must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. Yeah. Ooh. Stinian spear is specifically really focused on. Interesting. I am Bashan, servant to the Satrap. My task was, in fact, to wake these good Stop men and women, them. if you will allow. People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. Uh-huh. Mm. Scales? We have new scales? Oh dear. The heck? Yes, my friends. Gather round. Oh, they're pretty. Them right here. Fine. Those look like sin scales. Oh, happy day. Now I can continue my experiment. Ah. Uh, Many thanks. They're bored because they're out of materials. Those are dragon scales. You would know. Yes. Such materials are vital to their most pressing research. I mean, I don't know what else to expect. We are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Good. Oh boy. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. Oh, nice. 
Did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? <laughs> Who are you people? Who are you people? Of course. You're the one cryo The warrior of light. We've been waiting. Sorry, I go by warrior of darkness. Oh, this is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova. Oh, uh, wait, actually, we have to fight her probably, so maybe not so much. The end to our toil is near. Oh dear. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in day. Well. Tell me. Not here, you don't. Curious that it concerns you so. Do you not see him with the blood tipped spear? They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. Okay, all of a sudden I am misunderstanding what satrap means. That is well. You must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? Yeah, is it because of the blood on the spear? Is this that kind of <laughs> blood I see on <laughs> Hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it. Wow, where were these guys in Heaven's Ward? I should like to draw a file or two, if so. You are a wall and you would like it. No! Oh my god. See here. Run, Nestinian. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. Nestinian, run. Escape. I think. This is your shoving. Oh, so help me. I think Nestinian's dead. First casualty of the expansion, folks. Oh, Never would have guessed it was Astinian. Companion. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, mm. shall we find a quiet place to talk? Absolutely. As you may have guessed, I am Nidana, the alchemist who sent a request to your I know, the hell I am. We have workshops across the nation. Wait, like, was he? On this research project. Was he with the group but of people just harassing Stinny? work where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the no, crux okay, of the good. situation. <laughs> oh, Urianje. Oh, Astinian. We will remember you. I will remember you. Tune to that. Lots of reapers going around. Honestly, I did very minimal fighting, so. He's... He did the prayer movement for Stinian. <laughs> Allow me to thank you for answering our call. Many towers have appeared around the world, and we are grateful that you would assist us with ours. Your crown herself is tied up with another investigation. Selena is an eminently capable substitute. We will spare no effort to aid you. So if I understand correctly, you seek to make talismans that can nullify etheric emissions. Indeed we do. As you know, the tower emits vast concentrations of ether. One cannot go anywhere near it without being tempered. As such, we can only study the tower from afar and are powerless to deal with it in any consequential way. In order to strike back, the satrap bade us alchemists create enchanted talismans. Talismans that will allow our soldiers to venture into the tower, even should they lack innate protection. Would such a thing be possible? Admittedly, we are still in the midst of testing, but we are quite confident. Even prior to this, our people have long pursued countermeasures against the etheric corruptions of Primos. Of the methods tested to date, those utilizing dragon scales prove the most promising. Owing to their etheric density, the scales are highly resistant to disruptive forces. The mightier the dragon, the greater the resistance. We seek to amplify this protective property through our alchemy. Thanks to the scales provided by His Excellency, we may have been able we have been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we will be ready to consult to conduct a field test, and here is where you and your blessing of light come in. Better than having my blood drawn, I suppose. Thank you. Lest you wonder, we ask only that you serve as an escort. 
I will explain in greater detail later, but you will be venturing into the tower's field of influence. And so for your own safety, I will first test how well your blessing shields you, with your permission, of course. Absolutely. In that case, Uri Andre will and I will find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing as you all work with point of collapse, I suspect you could do with more hands. We would be grateful for any assistance you can provide. Hmm. Pardon me. If you are ready, let us prove put your blessing to the proof. If you exit the great work and turn south, there will be a hill to the right. It will meet you I will meet you at the top after seeing to some preparations. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a small break, uh, like five minutes, maybe tops, so that I can get myself something to eat, wake myself up a little bit, stretch my legs, eat myself up, because I'm having shivers that, with yawns, it's not pleasant. And then we're gonna get to that quest. Um, so we'll be right back. Shouldn't take too long. You might hear me scrabbling around the background, so. Cool, I'm back. I have a piece of cheesecake. And a glass of milk to I'll get there. Back, I'm inside, I can still use this. Did I tune to this? I don't think I did. My wedding joke, though. I know, I did. I like the animation here that, we, that like the, the, the icon for the the reaper ability is just like big scythe swing. All right, sorry, I can't go through the building apparently. Oh, really? I thought that was pretty Andre. I was like, what the heck? Let me out of here. I think I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm not. Dang it. Don't you go back hill? I know cheesecake could taste a little stale, but not bad. There we go. Back to me. I hope you didn't have to trouble finding this place and climbing the hill. Not all are accustomed to the physical strain. I give you the fruit of our sweat, tears, and many sleepless nights with a drunken Deepa. A Deepa is a lantern presented to the gods as an offering. Taking inspiration from the tradition, we created this device to test the talisman's efficacy. On activation, it will move a certain distance before emitting a powerful blast of ether. 
In view of corruption, those lacking sufficient protection will experience severe ether sickness. For your test, you will be exposed four times. That should be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective capability. Please begin whenever you're ready. I shall be observing from a safe distance. Commencing etheric exposure testing. Repeat. Commencing, <laughs> commencing etheric exposure testing. Retreat to a safe distance if you are not the subject. I'm about to take a bite of my cheesecake, but I think I'm just ready to play the bite right now. Otherwise, I was gonna do it, so let's be careful first. I do not stand back. Stand back, how far, bro? side effect. Uh, subject has no irrepressible urge to update the stomach confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. What a way to just word that. Oh, good old brain freeze. Subject stomach and bowel integrity holding confirmed. Resuming test, please. Integrity. We're not talking about wanting to empty it out anymore. It's whether or not it ruptured or something. Yikes. You get close enough for it to decide to get you to go away and then get close again. Enough again. That looks like Selene is still fine. Shocked by yet another powerful blast to either, so we're not really fixed. Blessing of light appears to be too safe. One more time. Subject fortitude rated. Impressive. No irregularities confirmed. Resuming test. Follow. Please follow Brace for final discharge. Is this the one that sends you flying to the next area? Survive completely unscathed. Either exposure testing concluded. Please collect and deliver me to the surprising alchemist. Congratulations on retaining composure in your humors. <laughs> humors. Welcome to the 1700s, I guess. Ah, you've returned, and not on your knees. A promising sign, but come, let me take the deep off your hands. Thank you, I shall replenish its ether for when we test the talisman. So, no disease or nausea or anything of the sort. You're feeling per perfectly fine. Then the strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There is no risk that the towel will corrupt you. No, no risk, my man. With this, we can request your aid with for the task ahead with easy hearts. I thought you said no doubt. I was like, what? Mm, you are a capable warrior, too, are you not? Would you be amenable to assisting me with another errand? You see, our talisman requires the use of a special ink. ink. But we have exhausted our stores of a key ingredient for it, spirit weed. Going to lay down. I'll catch up on stream. Alright, thanks for coming by, uh, Red. Have a good one. That grows not far from here, and I would like to go and harvest some. With the recent spate of kidnappings, however, we are Casadora travel alone at our peril. Will you not come with me as my escort? I will let co compensate you for your travels, of course. I'm coming. I am in your debt. Without further ado, let us head to Kajaya's Kajaya footsteps. It is situated on the road which runs east of the Great Wall. Uh, yeah, I don't really 
use the compass. I don't know how flying is going to work here. Interesting. Stop auto running. Shiz. Need to find I, I may simply be imagining it, but I feel as though we're being followed. Look out, Selena. Woo, guest. Actually, I ended up losing those, uh, those skills. Points I had earlier. Gods, but that gave me a fright. I did think that the moment I ventured outside the city didn't work. Thank the sisters I asked you to come with me. You're all right, I hope. Pretty good, let's continue on then. It isn't far now. Just through these pillars and up the rise. Okay. Um, I am gonna have to say, I'm honking out. Um, it seems like a good, people are leaving the chat. So it seems like a good time as any to just call it a day. We're gonna go cash in our, our swear jar. Hmm. Sorry, I'm I'm tired. I've been, I didn't, I honestly I'm surprised I haven't been trying to fall asleep. Really, no, so this is pretty good. I apologize. I did really 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 want to do a um, a full three hour Final Fantasy stream. I didn't think of updating the game prior. It's my bad for the moment. But we did some good. I mean, good progress. It's a big expansion. So I don't know how much progress I'm actually making, but I feel like we did some decent quests. I would have liked to get to level 81 prior to the end of the stream, but you know, can't have everything. That's fine. I'm just happy I got to play tonight. So with that, that'll conclude tonight's showing of Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. We're gonna continue Final Fantasy XIV, not next week. It'll be another two weeks. Won't be next Monday, but the Monday after that, that we'll be streaming it. Uh, so I apologize for all those who got excited like I did. We are doing Indie Week next week, and that is not negotiable. I will not be placing Indie Week with Triple A 3 8 stream uh, because that's that defies the whole point of it. So, uh, in the meantime, love you folks, and we will be raiding somebody. Uh, that's actually a glitch. Wow, that's exciting. Um, yeah, uh, my next stream is going to be Monday, probably at the latest 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I will be streaming Darkest Dungeon. We're getting to the end of that game. Um, We'll see how that goes, and once we are done with that, we can do, we'll move on to, I don't think we're going to finish the next stream, so we can talk about that next week. Uh, yeah, so uh, say hi to whoever it is, I'll raid, and uh, be good, and remember to cash out your swear drawers every now and then. I don't know if I, I, I <laughs> have a good one, folks. Yo, let me stick around for you.